No, nah, I doubt I'd find a backpack before then. I'm just going to go straight down the street. I'm not going to be looting as I move as we go down towards the president. I'm just going to be going straight down the middle of the street, checking vehicles as I go. I'm only going to diverge from the street if I absolutely have to. The problem's going to be lack of housing to uh, dive into. It's so much commercial for the rest of the trip that um, my ability to evade is going to be cut down significantly. So if I run into any fast movers, it's going to get ugly pretty fast. But um, there's not much between here and there that I would be interested in stopping in to uh, grab anything from. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure. I've got average disinfectant on all the body parts that are damaged. Very poor and no message on the other two. Hmm. Um, twenty one minutes of chapter. I might be able to couple, get a couple levels out of that, but uh, by the time I get it read and then apply the bandaging, most of the time that uh, I would be healing is going to be gone. I mean, I've already got disinfectant and stuff on, so I'm currently getting some healing, but um, I just can't count on healing to actually have much of an effect this run. Either it's stone. Yeah, we've got uh, 20 hours to go. We're only four hours in. To our 24 hour timer it's the 24 hours is irrelevant <laughs> it's irrelevant i'll either be dead by zombies or the president will be dead long before we hit the 24 hour point but the president's right there he's hanging out in the strip club in the middle of town we are currently right here so we're there president's there so we've managed to sneak our way in helicopter crash site was right there initially so we've uh, managed to survive the infiltration and we're holed up inside of a survivor basement that we just got lucky enough to find. We got a bunch of zombies up on the street in the, in the house above us. So what's still there when I peek my head out again will be interesting to check. But we got in here cleanly and um, it's time to hold up for the night. So we're going to hold up until dark at least. And then uh, we'll make the final, the final run in and it's going to go quick. It's going to go quick. <laughs> Because I'm going to be moving at night, so I won't get too many, too much attention, I hope, unless we get unlucky. But uh, we are heading right into the middle of the nameplate of a big city, so we'll see. It'll it'll go quick one way or the other. But, um, yeah. 24 hours goes by if I don't have the president back at the helicopter site. Uh, yeah, the bomb in my neck goes off, my head pops off. <laughs> Getting the president to move a block without being an idiot is going to be fun enough. <laughs> I've tried this challenge before, but it's been quite a while. And they've made a bunch of changes to the NPCs, so we'll see if I can put a tight enough leash on him to uh, keep him with me as we move around. So, it's possible. Yeah, I like it. It's a fun challenge. Easy to set up. So, it's one of those Vorm makes it all up challenges. <laughs> Turn the president into a slime, splatter him, carry remains to evac. Winning! I <laughs> think they'd frown on that. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and try to read, but I think too much time is going to go by. So we'll say, uh, read until we gain a level. Hopefully we get a little bit of healing out of this while we, while we wait. One o'clock, two o'clock, coming up. Maybe four o'clock we'll have this done. Nah, it's going to be later than that. Maybe 6 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to get some more light put together. We got a tiny bit of healing accomplished. I don't know why, but people seem to think that you don't heal during the day. That you only heal at night when you sleep. That's not true. You do heal during the day. I just healed up a little bit of points here. Those, those bars went to full. So you do get healed. It's just that it's much faster when you sleep. You get an accelerated heal bonus while you're sleeping um, to your healing factor. So it's more noticeable when you sleep. But you do heal. 
disinfect, and bandage your damn wounds, people. <laughs> Get the healing. Even if it's like 24 hours before you're going to go to sleep. And the better your first aid skill is, the more healing you get. So, too many people just need to adapt their play style and actually take first aid, damn it. <laughs> or level first aid. Folks are still stuck in that. I'll just ignore healing and I'll ignore first aid forever and just sleep for three hours and be perfectly healthy again. Nope, not anymore. Stop crying about it. That's probably enough. Uh, I'll put you here. Oops. Put you here. Get the nails out of there. Oh, that's right. I can't do this in the dark. This still makes me makes me laugh. <laughs> it's too dark to construct right now. All I'm trying to do is tell the interface where I keep my firewood. <laughs> that's all I'm trying to accomplish. Nope. Gotta have life for that. Whoops. I moved the wood to the wrong place. Now may I tell you where I would like my firewood source to be. Thank you. Alright, let's keep reading. Yeah, we'll get one, one level out of it, so we'll get a tiny bump in our first aid for the bandaging, but... Uh, it's only going to happen for a few hours. There we go. I'm not going to bother to try another level. Okay, let's throw some new bandages on. We'll save two for the president. <laughs> Disinfect. Let's get a new dose of all that going, too. Alright, hey, the tipsy wore off. Look at that. One drink of alcohol solved our 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 pain problems and uh yeah that that that's that's broke. So broke. Alright, so yeah, we're up to average average. We got uh first aid of two. So that'll get us a little bit more healing. I'd still like it if I could get just a little sleep, but I think I'm gonna try, but I think we're gonna fail. So we'll we'll come down. We'll, uh, we'll say sleep, yes, wake me up in four hours. If I sleep through the night, I'm going to be pretty mad. <laughs> I'm going to be pretty mad if the alarm doesn't go off. And we sleep through, my, my, my head explodes at 8 a.m. Uh, that'll be pretty bad. <laughs> Dare I sleep? <laughs> What'll happen is I'll, I'll toss and turn until one millionth of a second before I say cancel <laughs> then I'll fall asleep and then I'll wake up at 8 a.m. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious if that happens yep tossing and turning tossing and turning oh we fell asleep please alarm please alarm Come on, alarm. All right, good. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect plan. Perfect plan coming together. We got another full bar. We're in the green. <laughs> oh, I know you were waiting for that uh, that horrific nonsense to occur. <laughs> I was afraid. I was just starting to hit the cancel key when it went to sleep, and I was like, oh, crap. Here it comes. Luckily for us, the uh, the alarm woke us up. Thank goodness. It's a good thing I didn't put the earplugs in. <laughs> it's always funny when I, I set an alarm when I have earplugs in and then, then ask why I didn't wake up. Okay, we're thirsty and hungry. Well, let's have some soy milk. That'll solve that problem. Still thirsty and sated. Hmm. That was some that was some really thirsty stuff. Alright, so we're actually in pretty good shape. So considering we uh we wrecked in a helicopter. Uh, what, 14 hours ago? So we got eight hours until our head explodes. Eight hours to get to the president and get out of here. Um, yeah, let's see here. Thirst, let's, let's wait another five minutes. Let our, our stomach settle. Thirst is down to minus 2% speed reduction. Take another drink. One more. All right, let's not risk another one. 
Give it another five minutes. Sated and slaked. Cool. All right. We are uh, Chunky Cobra. <laughs> we are Bob Chunky Cobra Pliskin. That's us. Overweight, sated, slaked. Uh, I don't think I could ask for better conditioning, so let's um, change this up. Let's get get the kukri back out, I think. All right, anything I want to leave behind? Leaving behind the plank. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to use this battery or the book. Probably done with the soy milk, but we'll we'll hold on to that in case the president wants some soy milk. Don't need a radio. Well, I'll keep the radio. Nah, they're gonna show up on a timer. They're not gonna care if I radio for help. Um, all of this is for my shotgun or my H and K, and we'll keep the Mossberg. So if I drop that stuff. And drop the milk. What's that get me down to? 7.81. If I take off the dive bag. Nope, not quite enough space. I need to drop something else in order to survive. Not dropping random stuff when the dive bag hits the ground. What else could go? I really don't think I'm going to end up using any of this 9 mil ammo. I've got, I haven't fired a shot yet, and I've got two two clips. i got 90 rounds. If that doesn't get me out of town, nothing's gonna. I think I'll drop the ammo. The cell phone's gonna get use. Now, I, I really want a light source. Goodbye, canteen. Definitely the canteen. Alright, so. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. All right, we're under the limit now. So if I lose the dive bag, but the rest of my gear is still here, I won't drop any of this important stuff. All right, I think we're set. Yeah, <clears throat> put put rum in the canteen. Wear canteen. Yeah, that's probably a better plan. <laughs> we're uh. Sitting at um, not the best numbers here, given the gear, but uh, we've got we're wearing a wetsuit. <laughs> I never want a wetsuit. Two one two, huh? For seven encumbrance, double gloves. Canteen is two and adds what? Right there. Plastic canteen of rum, nineteen out of forty two. Does alcohol... Wait, what? <laughs> 42? I thought canteens only held like six water. It's a slug of water. More volume than a slug of rum, apparently. That seems a little odd. That seems a lot odd. Alright, we'll go with it. Two points of encumbrance on the leg is fine. Compared to everything else, it's not going to make a difference. So we got our rum for our painkiller effect. That's that's how we're going to deal with pain as it starts ratcheting up. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. I don't think I need anything else in here. Nah, I like to keep the kukri in my hand <clears throat> for emergency 
upfront and personal work. I'll use the gun as needed for um, almost more for distractions and for moving zombies around since I don't have a light source. Typically I like to flash a flashlight to uh, move zombies around. Alright, so we got upstairs no problem. Um, let's... I think it's the same plan. I'm just going to step out onto the street and just work my way straight down the street. I, I don't see a reason to change that up. In the dark, most things aren't going to be able to detect me unless I bumble right into them. That's where the uh, very slight night vision range is going to sort of help me. Unfortunately, I'm going to get close enough that they're going to sniff me and start chasing me no matter what. Let's see. Yeah, let's go straight up here. Love liners. Oop, poison cloud still there, is it? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, hearing zombies. Shock zombie to the south. Tearing apart the car. How far around that do I want to go? I think I'm 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 gonna go back in. Let's go this way instead. Yeah, much better plan. All right, yellow line. Here we go. Final run into the president. What is that? One, two, three, four, about five blocks to go. Checking cars as opportunity allows. Gas, battery, no wheels. Don't care then. Hello, zombie. Or quite a few zombies, as the case may be. All right, safe mode back on. Oh, good old shocker directly ahead of me is triggering my safe mode. <laughs> of course there's somebody north of me where I'm trying to get around a shock zombie. Much of a diversion am I going to have to make? Nope, no gas. Um, this is cutting a little closer than I like. All right, one intersection down. Now's where it gets tight for uh, houses I can retreat into. Got one to the south, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna lean to the south side of the road. Well, I was. <laughs> now I'm not gonna go to the south side of the road. Only good news is all that activity, all that noise is drawing zombies into it. So it's clustering the zombies up for me. As long as my hearing is not impaired, I can use that as a uh, travel guide. Let's get back down to the middle of the road. Hopefully I see cars as I go by them with this. I think I'll kind of do a... Yeah, maybe not. Either manhole. We could take the subway out of town. I hadn't actually looked for local subways. Um, are there any nearby? Uh, there aren't really any nearby. Where the hell are the subways? One to the south of the name Blakes. That's it, huh? Yeah, that won't work. All right, no subways we could use. That'd be fun to exfiltrate the president through the subway, or through the sewers. I mean, mm, sewer gators, chuds, albino penguins. Good stuff down there. Keep on moving. Let's go back to safe mode now that I'm out of range of that other shock zombie. Uh-oh. Let's not be a runner, at least. Come on, vehicle. Oh, this might be the one. This might be it. It's got gas. It's got battery. It's got a broken security system. Come on, engine. Please. 
I can't check it. <laughs> I can't check it without turning the light on. Uh, I hate that. Makes sense. I still hate it. So, the engine has a fault. Might work, might not. If I turn a light on, I'm very likely to attract attention to it, and it'll be shredded by the time I come back. If I hop in and turn it on, the noise might get attention and have it shredded before I come back. If I leave it and try to desperately get to it, it may not work <laughs> when the president gets here, and he won't be impressed at my shoving him into a non-functional vehicle. <clears throat> so, what to do, what to do. We mark it. Oops. Let's mark it. Turk. Trick. <laughs> Truck. Can't check engine. That would be nice if we could get a functional vehicle that close. Short trip to the truck, two blocks, hop in, make a trip down to that other vehicle, hop into it, <laughs> and or keep on trucking, one or the other. I'm actually going to check around it. I don't hear any... Ah, oh, there is somebody nearby. Damn it. I really don't want to draw them into the vehicle. Cockroach! No, cucaracha, go away. These things are so pesky. <laughs> Damn it. Make me burn my stamina just trying to get away from cockroaches. Ah, then I run into a runner. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hilarious. I'm going to get killed because of cockroaches that found me in the dark, and I got no convenient buildings I can get to <laughs> to, to shut a door in their face. Uh, they may have come out of this house I'm about to try to run into. But I gotta... I gotta try. I gotta get to a place that'll get these things off my trail. Alright. They won't break windows. The zombie will. Yep. That'll let them in. Is there another window? Ah, damn it. Making me back way up. I want to go back out the north door if I can manage it. Alright, let's circle around again. Hopefully there's not another cucaracha waiting for me. I really want to try this thing just to see. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Dare I! <laughs> Dare I rev this thing down the road and try to get to that, get the president out, get him into the car, and then get out of here. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it started for anybody that didn't notice. So the uh, whatever's wrong with the engine, it wasn't something that was going to keep it from running. Oh man. I don't know. This is a, this this is this is probably the most important decision I've made so far this challenge is whether I drive this truck down to the strip club, hop out, try to run in and grab the president and bundle him back into the truck before it gets swarmed or do I leave the truck here in peace, try to run the president the two blocks down to it, then hop in and take off. Uh I, uh, <laughs> I'm torn. I, I can see big advantages either way. The problem is going to be I have not scouted the, the, the path ahead of me. I have no idea if I'm going to run into roadblocks. If I turn the headlights on, I'm guaranteed to get spotted by just a ton of stuff. That's what worries the most is um, I just don't think I'd be able to get the vehicle to a stop and not have it get surrounded or shredded while I was in grabbing the president. I don't think I can afford it. I think I have to leave the vehicle here and just pray I can get the vehicle, to get the president uh, two blocks down to this car, this truck. Very high chance we can get out of this city if I can get the president into a vehicle that's drivable. Oh, uh, man.
Yeah, I, I can't. I, I don't think I can afford to try to drive this down there. I'm trying to do it in the dark without a lot more night vision. If I had low light amp goggles or something like that, I'd, I'd think about it. I can't afford it this way, though. I'm trying to drive this thing down there without turning the headlights on, I just... I don't think it would work. I mean, I could just leave it here, scout the route, then come back for it if it's clear, and then I can use the map memory to drive down there um, if it's a clear route. That I could do. I think that's the better plan. It's only two blocks. If there's nothing between me and there, I can run back, grab it, drive it down there as quietly as possible in the dark without turning the lights on, and the chances of getting to the president, getting him in the vehicle, go way, way up. But I think that's uh, that's probably the better better choice. Do do. do. Yeah, we'll see. This is um, this is a tough one, but I, like I said, I don't think I can afford to try it. So let's pray that that uh, that startup didn't. Ah, god damn it! <laughs> god damn cockroaches! Leave me alone! I I can almost guarantee if the house to the south didn't have cockroaches, the one to the north does. Uh, I don't want to circle back into that stupid house again. Botanical garden's not going to give me any cover. I'd have to sprint for half a block to get to the next house. God dang it. I <laughs> uh, just got what I desperately needed. Now this. Well, let's update this. I didn't actually look at all the stats on the truck for battery power and all that. <laughs> I probably just burned all the battery power available. Um, yeah, the president's not actually in that building yet. Once I get into the building, into the back room of the strip club, I will summon an NPC and then uh, have him join me. And then I have to control him from there. Damn cockroaches. I think I might fight this thing instead of running from it. Let's try a couple of swings, see what happens. Yeah, of course I miss. Miss, miss. Hit for 27. One more good critical will do it. That's not a crit. That's nothing. That's... There we go. Alright. No more running from the cucarachas unless I get a gang of them on me. Let's wait right here. Ah, uh, damn it, tough zombie. Don't hit the vehicle, tough zombie. No, I don't want to do that. Over here. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Makes my laugh. All right, you can follow me, cockroach. Fine, all the cockroaches in the city can follow me. Let me find a vehicle I can jump into. Something. Ah, here we go again. Damn it. Again, the city terrain is not being friendly. Uh, another half block to get to a house. And after that, that's pretty much the last house I can use where we have to sprint for the strip club. So close, so close. Hate to fail this out this close when we've got so much good stuff explored and located. Ah, they keep pushing me further north. We are getting closer and closer to the nameplate, though, which is the uh, the dangerous part. Cockroach is still behind me. Uh, I just need to run. Ah, crap. This house isn't going to help. Okay. This does not sound good. One block to go to get to the present. Down one full bar of stamina. Cockroaches coming up behind me. Lots of zombies. Ah, another feral runner. How come everything I'm running into is fast as me now? 
didn't have this problem earlier. All of a sudden, it's all I'm meeting. Um, and if I fight him, the noise is going to attract other zombies. Oh, damn grabber. Come on, vehicle. I need a vehicle or something. I cannot afford to keep burning stamina. They're coming up behind me. Scent trail's too strong. Electronic store doesn't have good cover or windows. Construction site. Ooh. How hilarious would it be if there was a perfect con perfect condition excavator sitting out here? I could uh, I could roar out of town in an excavator with the president bundled into the uh, the trunk. Oh, <laughs> uh, that would be hilarious. It's not much cover there though. If I go to check it, the uh, stuff chasing me is going to catch up to me, and if I fight it, I'm going to make noise that might attract other nearby stuff. I really can't afford to keep running though. What building is this? Clothing store? I don't think it has windows along the side walls, just the front. Two shock zombies to my south. I think I have to fight this guy right here. I can't afford to keep running. Hopefully there's nothing directly next to me. Nope, here we go with a crowd of them. <laughs> Not good. Come on, take this guy down, please. Damn it. Die already! so many uh, I saw one somehow I have three all chasing me Ugh. well let's rephrase that <laughs> damn it this is why I don't like stopping it always turns out this way oh man god dang it now I've burned another half bar of stamina, killing a couple of them that is not going to get me out of the problem I'm having. We're across the street from our destination point. <laughs> God dang it. Ugh. Two more of these guys plus a fat zombie, and there could be more piling in on me still. How do these walls count for 60% coverage? Half built brick wall. Um, I'd like to get to a point where I don't get more than one on me. Only way to do that is to go through that covered wall to here and then fight them as they come over that wall before they can wrap around. But that presumes I don't have anything up here that's going to hear the fighting and come down to me as well. Whatever decision I make, it's likely to be my last decision. I <laughs> can't believe we're... It's so close! Right across the street! Ugh, I don't want to get into a chain of fights and die right here within walking distance of the destination. Alright, I'm going to hope. We're going to stand here, fight them right here. That'll minimize their... Action points. Ooh, we got a good critical on that guy. And we stunned him. Hopefully we can drop him before his buddy shows. <laughs> Supposedly he was stunned. Oh, please don't have somebody coming from the left. So those two are done. We're down to two bars of stamina with all this uh, running and fighting. Where'd the fat zombie go? He's going to take a bunch of hits, which sucks. 
You get distracted. Oh, oh, tough zombie. Great. Yet another new guy. Hey there, attack the darkness. Only off by 12 minutes so far. <laughs> yeah, this this could be it right here if they just keep dogpiling. I thought I had one, then it turned into two, then it turned into four. Now we're up to five. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, a let, I, I'm not happy about the tough zombie here. Not even a little bit. Come on, he's standing on a half-built wall. <laughs> How am I missing missing like this? Oh my god. Four misses in a row so far. One hit. Come on, special operator. Do your thing. Get rid of this stupid zombie. Can't afford too much more incidental pain. It's gonna be uh, kill tough zombie, drink alcohol, kill fat zombie. <laughs> Now we're down to one stamina bar. Anything else show up other than the fat zombie? I am in trouble. Let's see. Punch minus 12 is fine. I'm overhydrated anyway. I get happiness. I get the pain taken care of. I can't think of a reason not to take a drink of this right now. That'll cover me for pain for a while. Or do I wait? What are my negatives? 6%. Let's wait. All right, stupid hit point sponge. 31 critical. At least he's easy to hit. 30 point critical. <laughs> and he still manages to hit me. All right, so we're up to how many? Five? I, I've lost track. Now's where I really need them to leave me alone. Nothing else show up, please. I, I, want, I want to step into the corner here, but I'm afraid to go back around the wall. Hey there, Edis. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. I think I'm just going to turn on safe mode. We're going to try to pass time until I get my stamina back and see who shows up. Yep. We got a couple of bars back. Let's, uh, let's switch sides of the wall. Problem is each of these hits is doing eight sound. Eh, six sound. Maybe eight. My hearing might not quite be perfect, but it's making enough noise that anything in a radius about this big is going to hear it. Let's try again. Safe mode on. Wait. If I get my breath back, we're golden. <laughs> Monster spotted. Oh, stupid shock zombie's coming for me. <laughs> um, crap. Something's blocking my line of sight to him. I gotta pass time one increment at a time right now. I can't afford to do the uh, wait command. So this is gonna take me a bit to try to recover. Let's turn this on. We'll just fast forward like this until something pops into my view. Almost four bars. Come on. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Oof. I am very, very happy that I stopped and fought and that we used the uh, the wall and the half wall appropriately. So, three feral runners, a tough, a fat, or two fats. That's uh, what chased me down here when I was running. There's our target directly across the street is the, uh, the strip club where the president's hanging out. Um... I didn't get a good chance to check the street here. I, I almost instantly had to start running from the cockroaches and so on. What I'm going to laugh at is I'm going to get the president. We're going to get out of the strip club. We're going to run this direction, and he's going to die to cockroaches. <laughs> he's going to die to cockroaches. Was it four ferals? Did I leave one on the other side? Oh, I see. I was reading this number, not that number. <laughs> oh, man. Drink the alcohol, don't drink the alcohol. 5% pain. Yeah, we're, we're going to drink the alcohol. Let's take a swig of rum. All right, one swig of rum. Painkiller 6, depressants 11. Happy. <laughs> pain completely gone. 
Man, I got a cold mouth. And, uh, yeah. Our bandages and disinfectant are still holding, so we're fine there. Hit point-wise, we came out of that pretty good. They hit me a couple of little times and nicked my gear a bit more. My wetsuit's getting pretty banged up. Dive bag hasn't gone away yet. But, yeah, I predict uh, the president's going to die to a swarm of cockroaches. That will be hilarious. Okay. Check the street or straight for the strip club. We know we got a shock zombie near. Can't go south too much. There was an excavator. It would be either on the street here or on the street here. I don't care about tools. First thing I see is another feral. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get unhappy. <laughs> Motorcycle. I need to ride the president out in the uh, the basket. <laughs> A bicycle. No saddle. Not riding that bicycle. All right. We got something making noise that way, which leads uh, too much stuff. I'm not gonna try it, even if there is an excavator there. Stuff directly ahead of me as I try to get to the strip club. <clears throat> All right. Can I maneuver around to get to the strip club? Without anything following me in. That's the tricky part. Basically, if I can see it, they're going to detect me and smell me and come after me. And or if they intersect my path. All right, strip club. Uh, I'm going to guess this is the entrance. Hopefully... I can't tell if I'm on the back side of the grocery store in the strip club. I think I'm on the back side. I do believe there's a rear entrance. I can't remember the, des the, the, the full design in right now. Hmm. Let's leave that guy to follow me for a sec. See if we can go around the other side. Oh, there's the door. I got at least two following me right now at a minimum. There might be somebody inside as well. And a dog. Uh, I'm not going to do this. Ideally, I would get them on advan terrain advantageous to me. Which is going to be tough to do without getting surrounded. Um, or I take them on one at a time and hope the noise doesn't attract a crowd. Come on. Ah, uh, it goes after my dive bag. <laughs> Down, doggy. Bad doggy. <sighs> miss, miss, miss. Four misses. Five misses. They're starting to stack up. Nope, no grabbing. No grabbing. All right. I think that's all that detected me on the way in. So this is the uh, the dressing room back here. You think I usually, last time I did this, I put the president, I think, in the bathroom back this direction. Yeah, I had him hiding in the bathroom, so I think that's what we'll do this time, too. The rest of this is the bar, and so on. More alcohol, rum and cola. Okay. We've made it. This is where I'm going to summon up the presidential NPC. Now, sometimes he doesn't appear where I think he's going to appear. <laughs> I guess I'll do it out here. We'll say that he was tied up or hiding in the bathroom stall or whatever. But um, this will take me a little bit of time to coordinate this. It's been a while since I summoned up an NPC. I'll have to debug a few things to make sure I can get him to join me. I don't remember all the commands for it. Let's do spawn NPC. All right, where the hell did you put him? <laughs> Please tell me you put him in the in the building with me at least.
No, they put him outside. Great. He's just outside firing randomly. I don't have a way of controlling that, I don't believe. So that's a little irritating. Um, yeah, I have no way of doing it through the player menu. Yeah, I think that's the only option I have, and I think it's just randomly picking locations. So that's going to be a little awkward. It's just going to keep putting them outside, is it? That's not useful. Huh. I was sure I was able to place them last time I did this. So now I got a bunch of zombies getting killed by random NPCs I've summoned. <laughs> this is going great. I probably should have saved it beforehand. Let's do that. Let's make a save here, just in case things keep going really, really silly. Let me make a backup of this real fast. <laughs> the only part I couldn't control of this little scenario. Try standing in the middle of the strip club this time and doing it and see if we can get him in the building. All right. Backup's all set. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, stand, oh, right about here, I guess. Try again. Spawn. NPC. Can't see him. Doesn't show on the map. Oh, it does show. <laughs> There's Jody Weaver sitting outside. Um, whoops. Uh, hey there, Jay Valencia. Short of breath, huh? All right, cool. I can fix that for you. What's the matter? I'll do it. Not a problem. Bye. Spawn. Item. <clears throat> Inhaler. Yep, here it is. Glad to help. Bye. Chat. We should travel together. I can keep you safe. Awesome. Alright. Good. There we are. We're all done. We got the guy. That was that was lucky. We got one with uh, one of the inhaler quests, so that one's real simple to finish up. Uh, I'll sort through the combat commands in a second. Um, so it's President Jay Valencia is who we've got. Hey there, Jay. You have a Sig P two two six. Now I'll be taking that away from you. Pants, shirt, socks, boots. Gloves, winter coat, Kevlar vest. <laughs> I don't know. Is it reasonable that the president uh, going down in a helicopter would uh, slap on a Kevlar vest or grab one off of one of his soldiers? Um, or do I strip him naked and give him a suit? <laughs> I could just strip him naked and give him a suit. Oh no, I'm not Secret Service. I'm uh, I'm an unwilling volunteer. <laughs> they put a bomb in my neck and told me to go get him. I think I'll uh, I'll take the gun away. I'm just gonna leave the rest of the gear on him, uh, except for the gun, so he can keep the Kevlar. I, I think that's reasonable for uh, the situation he's in, with the uh, apocalypse occurring when the helicopter went down and all that. So I'll just take the gun away from him. We'll leave everything else. even got a backpack. You are well accoutred, Mr. President. All right, chat. Uh, talk to him. Let's see. Great items. He's got rollerblades. <laughs> he picked up rollerblades. That's funny. And he's, he's carrying a corpse? Excuse me? What? What? <laughs> What's... What are you doing, Mr. President? Why are you carrying a bolt of decayed zombie corpse around? <laughs> oh, it's on the floor? Why is it listing if I'm asking what's in his inventory? Is it showing me what's, what's below his feet, apparently? That seems a little odd. Not sure why they would choose to show what's, what's on the floor at his feet. Uh, 
All right, well, give me the SIG. You can keep the uh, the other junk. Um, let's go again. I'm going to drop the SIG, pretend it never was here. All right, he's not wounded, which is kind of a miracle. Um... I'm gonna get rid of his backpack as well. Actually, no, that's kind of dangerous. I'm not sure if the inventory problems are still occurring. We better leave him with the backpack. <clears throat> All right. I think he's fine otherwise. Um, so there we go. We made it to the president. We are in the central area. We got another NPC outside, uh, which I'm not super happy about. Can I kill NPCs? Yep. Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, I can kill him. No, that'll kill my own NPC. <laughs> I need to be able to selectively kill them, not uh, not all of them. All right, hopefully we don't get any guff from Jody Weaver as we try to get out of here. That would be kind of sucky. Okay, so we managed to get to him. That's great. I'm happy about that. Um... Same strategy. Get outside and see if we can manage to get to the uh, the pickup truck. Is our first target just a couple blocks away. If we can manage to get to that and get it running and uh, both be alive, that will go a long way towards getting us out of here. We got one other vehicle right there, the cargo truck, which should drive, but I don't know the battery status. Um, but if the truck we get running initially, I'm just going to keep driving. We'll try to make a bend right about here and go right out that way. Try to get straight back to the helicopter. Uh, so, what am I going to do here? Combat commands. Change engagement rules. Don't fight unless your life depends on it. Aiming rules. Uh, don't shoot. Well, I'm not going to let you shoot anyway, but... Uh, stick close to me no matter what. Will not engage enemies. Will follow you closely even when threatened. Follow you at about two paces. Alright. Don't use ranged weapons. You're not going to have any grenades, but don't use any, please. Don't move onto obstacles adjacent to me. Yeah, let's leave that alone. I think that should do it. So, won't engage enemies. Will follow you closely. We'll follow you at about two paces. We'll not use ranged weapons. We'll not use grenades. Avoid shooting if allies are in a lot of fire. That's a moot point. He will move freely to attack enemies. No. Since he's not going to engage enemies anyway, I don't think that'll make a difference. Move freely as you need to. Stick close to me no matter what. Ah, alright. Well, what controls that one then? Hold the line? Hmm. Must be the hold the line option, right? Move where we need to to get into the fight. You will hold the line by not moving into doorways or obstructions adjacent to. Alright, I think that's fine. So we got the combat commands. Don't need to teach. Don't need to trade. Um, yeah, let's, let's learn about the president. 7888. Impressive. A lactose and meat intolerant, frail asthmatic. <laughs> Leader of the free world. <laughs> there you go. Impressive. That is quite the NPC we got there. Yeah, frail. Less hit points. Lots less hit points. Gotta love it. Game just likes to troll me. Half the hit points as usual. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's problematic. <laughs> I, I could have wished for not having Frail on the president. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, that's good to know. Um, don't care, don't care. All right. I think that's it. Got them set up the way I want. My only fear now is that we get some kind of 
NPC is going to try to shoot either one of us when we're trying to leave. I'd rather they just ignore me or leave me alone. So hopefully we don't get some cranky NPC that kind of ruins things. Now that we got all this set up, though, I think I'll make one more save and uh, back up just to be safe. Then we'll get moving. Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, I should check that. <clears throat> they do like to bolt things, don't they? Either under radar or welcome. Uh, got another backup set up. Howdy, Super John. Thanks for the follow. Uh, let's chat with him one more time. So, miscellaneous. I uh, don't want them picking up items. I don't want them bashing obstacles. I don't want them sl well, sleep's not going to be an issue. I do want you to stay quiet. Leave corpses alone. Alright, won't bash obstacles. Stay awake. Only complain in an emergency. We'll leave corpses intact. Will not close doors. You will investigate noises. No, you will not. No noise investigation. We'll follow normal engagement rules. All right, I think that should take care of all of the weird stuff. Yeah, he's he's not supposed to engage anything. He's on full out. Uh, ignore all zombies and stay right on my heels mode. That's the kind of stuff I didn't have access to the last time I tried this challenge. I could get to the president, but every time we would try to get moving, he would just lag and wander, and I just couldn't keep him close enough to me to keep him alive. And uh, that's kind of what we failed on. So I was hoping, with the changes they've made, that uh, the additional commands and options would uh, get him to stick to me a little closer. And this one's not too complex. I'm hoping not to do too much house dodging and in and out of buildings and over ledges and through windows and so on. That's a little harder for the NPCs to do or to keep up. Um, it helps a little that I don't have any movement bonuses on this guy. My normal guys that I min-max up in various ways tend to be super speedy. And the NPCs can never keep up with me anyway. Uh, but I'm bog standard pretty much with this guy. So, no uh, no fleet foot or parkour or any of that kind of stuff. So, President shouldn't theoretically have too much of a problem keeping up with me. And we don't have far to go. And if we can get to that pickup truck, I think uh, we might actually get out of this. So, could be we'll have the challenge done here in the next short bit. But I'm going to take a quick break. We're right about three hours. I'm going to go get another drink. I have uh, emptied all my, my water bottles. And uh, I need to do that before we get moving again. So... Let me do that. I'll just take a fast uh, five-minute break to go get some water, fresh the legs, and uh, we'll get back to it, see if we can exfiltrate the president. So I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised we made it here after the few bumps we had. So we, uh, we could finish this one up fairly quickly. If I fail, I'll keep trying a couple times, but if we succeed, I, I got I to gotta figure out another challenge. I, I don't have another one ready. So yeah, I got a couple ideas, but I didn't actually get it all finished prep. So... Here's the character sheet again while I'm gone, and I will uh, be back with you guys here in just a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we can do this. It'd be awesome to get it done on the first try. Uh, I think we're all set, though. We got the uh, president... Adjusted, attitude adjusted. Um, hopefully he does what he's supposed to do. I think I'm going to move around in the uh, strip club here just to see how well he does at uh, sticking with me. So far I like it. That's uh, a lot better than they used to be, so we'll see if we can maintain that. That keeps them within sight, and uh, I can see one space behind them, so if something comes up behind them to start hitting them, I'll be able to tell. So, uh, hopefully he can keep up with the run speed change, too. If I go to run speed... Uh, nope. Do they have a sprint mode? <laughs> I'm not sure NPCs have a sprint mode. 
Yeah, we'll just hope we don't have to sprint too much, I think. All right, Mr. President. Might want to tell him to close doors behind him. Um, yeah. Just trying to think through here. The only door I'm hoping he'll close behind him is the uh, truck door <laughs> when we get to it. And, um, yeah. For this situation, it probably would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and give him that command. Uh, miscellaneous? Oops, nope. Different, uh, different letter now. Um, closed doors. Alright. I think we're all set. So, two blocks. Two, two, two and a half blocks? Two and a half blocks. Two and a half blocks, and we can uh, hopefully drive our way to freedom. Hey there, Imposter Cure. Let's do it. All right, out we go. Shock zombie waiting for me outside. Let's see. Let's get you down south a bit. Uh fight or run. This is the part that's going to suck. I can't quite see far enough to avoid these kinds of encounters. Fighting's going to make noise, possibly draw other things to us. But if I try to run, I'm pretty sure the president's not faster than these guys, and they're just going to chew on them while we move. Well, let's test it. Let's, uh, let's go to run mode for a second. Oh, more and more. Will this guy keep up with me at all? I give him a round or two. Now well, that worked out. Get back in the middle of the road, Mr. President. Actually, no, let's stay to the north. <clears throat> Closer where that house is. Now we'll, uh... Nope, uh, driver's seat's busted. That's not going anywhere. One block away. Now we're getting to cockroach territory. And it seems like the damn things can see in the dark. <laughs> Let's angle back up again. So close! So close! Oh no, don't be chasing the president! <laughs> We're just about there and then a tough zombie shows up! Uh, there it is! That's our vehicle right there, theoretically! Ideally, I probably want to approach it from the south, up in this way, so I get in the driver's seat, he comes in behind me and closes his door, and then we can peel off. Um, I, I don't want to fight. Even if I or he takes damage, I, I'd rather get to the vehicle with broken arms than, uh, than stand here and fight and have the stuff chasing us catch up. So let's go to run mode. Come on, Mr. President. Come on. Ah, there's the cockroach! Damn it! <laughs> They're still here! Keep running, Mr. President! Get to the chopper! Alright, right here, buddy. Please let this thing... Oh, he, he went around to the other side. Now the cockroach is going to get in the vehicle with me. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. He's outside. He can't get in because he's got guys surrounding him now. <laughs> Where are you, Mr. President? Death by cockroach. Just what I thought was going to happen. And I can't hit him. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, 
so hilarious. How many hits am I going to take? Just because of these stupid cockroaches. <laughs> what suit destroyed? Oh, this is so bad. Come on, just kill the cockroaches. Leg is about gone. Come on, Mr. President, get in the damn truck. Close the doors. The doors are closed. We're in. Ignore, ignore. We got it started. All right, we got battery. We got enough gas to get out of here. Now is where we go. Headlights. Oh, man. Yeah, that'll be hilarious when the cockroach comes in. <clears throat> All right. Path out of here. Let's see. I think it's just pretty much follow this road as far down as I can. And then somewhere in these three streets, I need to uh, make a northward jog and try to get to this intersection here and then get out. We've got the gas to do it. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to swap vehicles. No way am I going to take the risk of that not actually running. Not if we've got a, a working vehicle. What I don't know is the condition of the roads between here and the exit. So it's going to be a wild and woolly ride. And I don't have a lot of view range ahead of me. I think I'll stay at this zoom factor. Uh, I need to work my way back to the north side. Well, here comes the blob apocalypse. I forgot I have to drive through Slime City. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, wonder if it'd be better to go another direction instead of going right past Slime City. Hmm. Um, so many blobs. Thing I've got more than a little bit of practice driving in cities. Alright, coming up on that bend. I'm tempted to go right through here and just snap off that stupid wing mirror. Otherwise, i got to come down and possibly hit a bunch of zombies through here. I'm going to hit a few that way, too. Alright, we'll... We'll try to avoid as many as I can. No, don't hit the scooter. <laughs> we know what happens when you try to run over scooters. Where are we? We're making progress. One, two. I need to make a right-hand turn at the third or fourth intersection we come to. So if we get a straight shot through, this will be the first. Ouch, that is not convenient placement. I'm going on the south side. That'd be number one. That would be number two. We should be clean through there. That would be number three. I either have to make a turn here or the next one at the very worst. Um... Nothing immediately around me. Let's, uh, let's get a look up that direction. It's fairly clean looking. I think I'm going to go that way. Alright, have to make the left. And we have to make another right, and then we got a straight shot out. If we can just make a right, a left, and then it's straight to the helicopter. So, Mr. Bus, I think I'm going to do the same plan. We'll uh, get a view up that way. It's looking pretty clear. Let's take it. Uh, 
Alright, home stretch. I think we might have this. Whoa, hey there. I think we're back in fungus territory. <laughs> um, let's go. South or stick to the north. Let's go north. Go right through this group here. We are out of the city. Hey there, shock zombie. Okay. Well, um, I'm a little surprised. <laughs> we finished it. Headlights off. Stop driving. Yeah, we got a hitchhiker. <laughs> Somebody did hitch a ride. That's hilarious. Watch this guy kill me. Wield! Mossberg! Fire! Oh, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I thought point blank shotguns could hit something. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, he's down. That's kind of funny. Come on, Mr. President. Get over here. Ignore that smoke. Alright. Well, we're going to consider that a victory. Catch a ride! <laughs> Good old Borderlands references. Uh, yeah, that's a victory. So we have actually completed the challenge. Yeah, I'll do a... We'll do a three-move salute for a victory. There were a few scary parts there. It's a fun challenge to set up and do, though. You, uh, especially if you want to practice maneuvering through cities um, during the daytime. So now kill him. <laughs> uh, we could do that, I guess. But there wouldn't be much point to it. I could go throw him into the uh, toxic or into the uh, oops, into the to to the toxic waste dump here. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Attack. You, uh, you abandoned the faith. I don't know what you were thinking. I had it under complete control the entire time, with the minor exception of the cockroaches. <laughs> they worried me more than damn near anything else. There were probably three or four times where I, I got pretty worried. There were a number of close calls that uh, we managed to squeak out a, an escape. Um, but I've had a lot, a lot of practice and experience in uh, running through towns like this, even in broad daylight, as you saw. So... I had a plan. Plan actually worked. Plan worked really well. It went out almost exactly the way I thought. I wasn't expecting the slime pit. Slime pit, I didn't notice. That was my bad. I should have checked a little closer on my path on the map. But um, that only caused us a minor hiccup. But uh, beyond that, it worked pretty much the way I expected. I was able to creep close enough that we were able to, uh, to uh, get ourselves set up. Uh-oh, Ice Viper's gifting again. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ice Viper. You've been very, very generous. I do appreciate it. Gift subs, gift subs, gift subs. Come get your gift subs. Yeah, I kind of thought it would take me an extra try, too. But um, I had a good plan. Good plan. It worked exactly the way I thought it would. So I'm pretty happy. We'll wait for the, uh, the gift subs to roll through here. Yeah, I'd recommend if you're looking for a challenge, set something like this up. Um, 16 side, I mean, you can see the stats on how I set it all up and all that, but uh, it's pretty fun. And like I said, I built I built the character with just, just bog average. I mean, I didn't spend any min-maxi points. Um, I just took the standard character and spent whatever points they gave me the left over without uh, taking negative traits or anything. And um, you can do amazing things with low-power characters. That's, that's kind of why I like to play the low-power stuff. Every once in a while I dabble in the high power stuff, but um, I, I like accomplishing things with the, the average or the low power guys. Um, so that worked out pretty well. But um, yeah, I, I recommend it. It's a fun challenge if you want to give it a try sometime. It's a nice palate cleanser when you don't have to worry about uh, 
crafting chains and uh, all the other kind of stuff that you kind of get bogged down with on occasion. Just a nice, simple get in, get out kind of a challenge. I was mostly worried about um, the NPC behavior, but the new new commands, he, he stayed right with me right up until we got to the truck and the expected uh, cockroach rush occurred. <laughs> I thought I had led them away far enough, but um, didn't happen, so... Cockroach got on top of the president. I was sweating it right there. I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. If anything else had heard the fighting and showed up, uh, that could have devolved really, really poorly. But um, we were so close to getting a clean entry into the vehicle and then getting out of there. But uh, I'm pretty happy. The map itself actually worked out really well. And uh, the challenge went pretty much the way I expected. So that'll be a good fun one to uh, put up on the YouTubes. Maybe I'll, I'll have mercy on the YouTubers and... Uh, not make them wait three months for this one. Throw it up in conjunction, because it only took... I think it was one hour on uh, Friday, and then uh, a little over three hours today. So, um, yeah, I'll probably throw this one up a little earlier. Uh, or a lot earlier, like in two days. <laughs> so, all right. This one's done. We are all complete. I'm not going to shoot the president. That's That's disrespectful. We'll just wave goodbye to Mr. President, pretend that the helicopter showed up and uh, took us off. So... We're just going to QYY our way out of here. I don't really care about the stats. <laughs> 21 kills. That's my kind of run. The less I kill, the better I did. That, that's my feeling. Because the whole, the whole part of that process was evasion, stealth, and avoidance. That, that's what that was all about. So, 21 kills. See you, Jay.